All right, everybody, welcome back to the Paradise Gaming YouTube channel. And uh, here we go with Booster Box number three for the channel. And uh, got some pretty good pulls so far. Um, got two Mothman, got a Wendigo, got Hell's Gate, got a couple of the, you know, um, big pulls of this set so far. So hopefully we can keep it going. Um, I'm enjoying Nightfall in, in general. It seems to be a really awesome set. I like all the art. And uh, of course the box is pretty awesome still. <laughs> so let's just uh, go ahead and get into it. Don't wanna waste any time. Baby, chibi sting I should say. Chibi baby, whatever. So, how is it going for everybody? Did anybody out there get the uh, fan art packs? And if so, what do you think is the chase cards out of it? Is everybody like the Bloody Mary or... I haven't seen the full set yet. I've only seen a few cards out of it. I did get five packs, so... I will make a video unboxing, probably a couple of them on the channel. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'd, I'd, unfortunately, it was a little bit of a pain for everybody to get those. They sold out pretty quick, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a little bit of a mess. I am, I'm surprised that uh, MetaZoo didn't, you know... Uh, think that, that was going to be the case. It's pretty hyped little mini set, to, to, in my opinion, to me. I thought it was going to be, you know, sell really well. And uh, with it being still limited, that didn't help. Alright, here we go. Let's see. If I remember right, the packs were easier to open. Yeah, they're a lot easier. Alright, first pack. So yeah, like I was saying, we've been having a lot of, in my opinion, good luck, or at least better luck, and another potion seller. Nice. I really like the potion seller card. I think it's pretty cool. But um, they've been having some pretty good luck, in my opinion, so far with getting some decent pulls so far. Oops. Really enjoying the art. The set's pretty awesome. Hopefully I can do a better job of completing this set than the uh, Kryptonation set. Holy eyes. Universe Hollow. Fruitful Ed. I think from what I understand, the only really card in this set that's not a numbered card is the scratch, old scratch. It's the only secret rare in this set. So that'd be pretty amazing if we were able to pull that. And we got a verse hollow Arkansas snipe. That bugger is big if that's a uh, bull or some type of score right there. <laughs> Yeah, like I said before, I love what I love most about collecting this and opening MetaZoo is all the uh, cryptids I did not know about that I discovered in this game. Just I just go and go on YouTube and search it up and watch some uh, some videos about it. It's pretty interesting. Vampire Marcy and then full hollow out of Macro. Cool. All right. So two for three, or two for four, I should say. Not a bad start. Belch. Really, also, I think the... Not just the box, but the uh, pack art 
is really awesome for MetaZoo. Pretty much so far, every one has been pretty awesome. All right, verse Hollow Mothman, nice. We got two full Hollow Mothman, we didn't have reverse Hollow, so. Cool. So what's everybody's uh, favorite card out of this set? You have a favorite just art or maybe a card in the set that you use for uh, tournaments? Or just, the, just battling in general? Seem to be all. Verse hollow. You can barely tell the hollow in that. I know the Wendigo as well. I got a full hollow in the spell book and it was... If I didn't have it just at the right angle, I would have noticed that it was a uh, full hollow. I guess the uh, darker ink or the darker uh, art in general doesn't really uh, make it easy to see the hollow in the card. But yeah. Verse hollow mud monster. Cannot read that part. Murphy's Boro. Interesting. I don't even know. Never heard of that. So that's cool. But yeah, I don't play the game. I just collect it. Don't really have time to play anyways with everything going on. But I do I do love I do love unboxing. I do love making videos. Unboxing them. It reminds me of uh, when I was in Pokemon in the Watsi era. Familiar. So, fun times. Pretty much everything about MetaZoo has been, for me at least, has been just nostalgia. You know, from the art, how simple the cards are, to you know the way it's being rolled out. It feels a lot like the early days of Pokemon for me. Reverse Hollow, Tihanan, Tihanan, sorry. All right, we were doing pretty good. Now it's getting to be Reverse Hollow heavy. <laughs> Let's bounce back here. Another one, Green Reaper. plan is to knock out these uh, Nightfall unboxings so I can jump into Nightfall sooner than later. Full Hall of Bell Witch. And then that way I won't be uh, behind the ball when it comes to um, opening up products, my zoo products. to be getting full hollows but let's not get duplicates please <laughs> man I've been getting a lot of this card I got that's pretty nice transition do this guy yeah, this uh, Oklahoma octopus. I'm getting a lot of him. So there's, so there's an octopus that's that big, because there's an island right there, that big in Oklahoma. I'm assuming it's in a lake. <laughs> that's crazy. You know, cryptid, you know, conspiracy, whatever. Wise, I'm just. I'm not saying there literally is. I'm just saying. Pyre. Jack o' Lantern. And 
universe hall, no, no. Got me again. Full hollow and I didn't even realize it. Twin Meteor. I'm telling you, that black ink and the uh, background of the art, it doesn't really show the hollow very well. I'm not complaining. I don't, I'm not saying I hate it, but it's, <laughs> I didn't even notice that uh, that was a full hollow card. Cool. Alright. Next one. Another Momo. I have a feeling I'm gonna be tired of Momo real quick. I've uh, I've noticed that Momo is a card that is pulled a lot, and uh, other people's unboxings and and uh, a lot of people seem to be uh, having the same uh, feeling as me. They uh, get tired of him real quick. My elemental reverse hollow. Speaking of box art and uh, box art and pack art, uh, the UFO stuff has been in the Discord. It was shown and uh, Reverse Hollow Kinder Hook. What in the world? I have no idea. Um, yeah, it was in the Discord and uh, it looks pretty cool. It, uh, the box art reminds me of like a UFO, like a silver saucer shiny silver look excuse me and then the pack art looks pretty cool too i like how it has like a window and then you see like somebody looking through it's a cryptid beast of bladen bro so yeah it's pretty cool it's looks like it's gonna be pretty awesome so i mean i'll obviously say final decisions until we have it in front of us but looks like they are going to be four for four and quality of uh and here we go to gargoyle versus hollow and then right after him to non hollow cool but it seems like my is doing a really good job of that so whoever if it's mike or whoever's making those decisions you're doing a great job Discord and didn't really follow that. Okay, I guess you can call me like a boomer, whatever. I wasn't really into all that. Uh, but I did eventually join it and, you know, try to follow along with stuff so I can keep up to date because there was a lot of stuff I've missed in the past because I wasn't keeping up to date with the, you know, all the things that I was just on the Facebook and Twitter. And Thunderbird Full Hall, nice, beautiful card. I was just on the, uh, a few of the social medias and, missing 
a lot of announcements, a lot of um, sneak peeks, or you know, what is it, uh, spoiler stuff. So, got on there, and now I'm able to keep up to date with a lot of things. A lot of my uh, YouTubers I watch, they, uh, I was getting my information from them, honestly, actually. And full hollow abduction, nice. Don't think I have that one. And um, yeah, like uh, I think TCG Collector, he uh, he does a great job explaining, you know, MetaZoo Hour or you know, Ask uh, Mike anything, whatever hour. Um, fully explains that stuff. He's on top of everything, really good. Uh, yeah, Argos Anonymous, yeah, Clickable Stonks. There's a lot of people out there that are doing a really great job with uh, keeping everyone informed. Napa Reops. Because, I mean, if it's, there's some people out there like me that you just can't keep track of everything. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be able to buy every product. I'm not going to be able to collect every single thing, but... There's just too much... Too much stuff, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, if you can't collect it, I mean, collect what you can that you do want or like. You know, nothing wrong with that. Nice, full hollow headless horseman. Didn't have him yet. All right, one second. Move over. Common, uncommon. Yeah. Next one. Reverse hollow mocking. Cool. Halfway done, a little over halfway done actually. Not a terrible box at all. Um, once again, pretty happy with what we got so far. And full hollow Alaskan vortex. Sweet. Don't have that one either. So getting a lot of cards I didn't have from the first two booster boxes. Another full hollow abduction. I know I was saying I don't want duplicates, but I'll take the uh, <laughs> I'll take the bigger the bigger boys and duplicates. At the end of the day, I could just trade them for cards that I might need to complete the set. Crying tree, first hollow. All right, four packs left. I like the contrast of the color and art on this set. Let's see if we can get anything here at the end. Full hollow lightning alley, nice. Boil over. up. 
first follow Jack Frost. I always thought it was a little weird that Jack Frost was in this set. I figured for sure he would be one that was in the uh, in, a, in a holiday set. The last. And Twin Meteor. Looks like Twin Meteor Full Hollow. Yeah. Alright, just make sure I didn't miss anything. So three Twin Meteors in this box. Last pack. Alright. something good verse hollow dober demon oh well that wasn't a bad box at all uh, yeah. I think that was pretty good got two windigos got the headless horseman and then some other cards right now but like a uh, abduction Alaskan vortex and uh, Thunderbird. Thunderbird's a pretty cool card. All right, everybody, that's everything for uh, today's video. Um, we're gonna do probably about three, two to three more, uh, depending on how much I have left. I have to go check. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. The art's really amazing. I like the uh, hollow patterns in it. I mean, it's it's just been fantastic. It's uh, a really good set and I'm enjoying it. But uh, once again, thank you for watching the video. I uh, really appreciate all the uh, all the people viewing, liking, and subscribing. It means the world to me. Like I said before, I didn't think that I would uh, ever actually get around to doing a YouTube channel and I'm having a blast doing it. So, uh, so yeah, thank you for everything. I hope you have a great day. Until next time.